All right. Welcome to our 2023 Move It Walks demonstration today and orientation. The purpose of today, as I stated before, is to show what our walks are, what activities we're going to have, how you can support it, and then a little quick tutorial on how to register for today's um, walks. I will walk through the team as well as an individual um, participant so that you guys can see how it's going to look for everyone. And at the end, I will cut this recording and have any questions that we can answer. My name is Sydney McKinney. I am the Associate Director here for Parkinson Association of the Carolinas. And let's get started. This year for our event logistics, we actually have two walks. We have one in Charlotte and one in Wilmington. It's very exciting that we're having Wilmington back on the roster for us. So um, I'll go quick through our event objectives. It's to raise funds to support PACs cost-free programs and benefiting the Parkinson's community. For those who do not know, um, Parkinson Association of the Carolinas, we really focus on education and resources for those suffering with Parkinson's. And the funds that we raise here help us continue to be able to do so. Um, it also helps us raise awareness about Parkinson's and connect the Parkinson's community members to local resources. It also helps us connect those that are affected with Parkinson's, either by um, with the disease itself or caretakers or as um, a friend or family member being able to deal with it. It gives that connection of community to let you know that you're not alone. And sometimes you find a bestie along the way. So that's always wonderful. Our Wilmington walk this year is going to be Saturday, May 6th from 8.30 a.m. is when we start um, check-in for registration and it goes to 12. It's going to be at Longleaf Park, which is a beautiful park, and the address is 314 Pine Grove Drive. We have a fundraising goal of 25 since this is our first time back at Wilmington in a while. Um, we didn't want to go crazy. And if you want the campaign website link, it is here in this PowerPoint, which I will share at the end for anyone who wants it. But it is also on our website, and it's sent out in our emails. For Charlotte Walk, we have done this for now, this will be our ninth year in a row for our Charlotte Walk. Again, we hope to raise funds and awareness for it, just the same as our Wilmington Walk. And this one is going to be on April 22nd, again from 8.30 to 12 at Symphony Park, which is behind the South Park Mall. Um, we have a goal of $75,000, and we would love to have as much help with this as possible. So when I get to how you can help fundraise and some of our fundraising resources. Um, we hope that at the end of this, you guys go out into the world and help us continue to raise funds and raise awareness. Some of our event activities is going to be, this is my favorite part. I love our events. I get too excited about the walk because it's so much fun. We obviously have our um, check-in and registration when you first walk in. We have exhibitor and sponsorship tables. So a lot of the times these are your local um sponsors we have pharmaceutical sponsors we have um therapy occupational therapy physical therapy we have an ask a doctor session at both walks so that you can ask any questions regarding parkinson's if you just think of it or you want another opinion we have a doctor there that can answer those questions we have a massage area which is my personal favorite. Um, we've had it in the past years. We didn't have it, obviously, during COVID. We're hoping to bring that back this year. We have a kids' activity area because this is welcome to all in the committee, or all in the committee, all in the community. Um, and we hope that we get kids to come. We have face painting. We have drawings. We have just all kinds of fun stuff for the kids to get just as involved as adults. We have a relaxation area, basically for those who just don't want to do the walk or cannot do the walk, and you can relax in wonderful chairs and sit to the side and watch um, and get to still have that um, community outreach and empowerment with you. At the beginning of our walk, we'll all start with a yoga session, really to get you limber, get you ready, and it's also geared to those with Parkinson's. We also have the fun stuff like raffle prize drawings, Live music, of course. We also obviously have a walk, so we'll have a shorter path for those with Parkinson's or any disabilities that have um, you required to do a shorter walk. And we'll also have longer routes as well. 
And then we get to have award announcements. And I know everyone's excited about that. And I'll be glad to go about what the awards could be at the end um, that you could get if you participate in this walk. So I'll move on. How to participate and support the walk. It's really simple, honestly. You can register as an individual walker and just help raise, um, help fundraise for our organization. Um, you can come. It is free to walk. You are not required to donate. If you just want to come and be able to show your support by being there, we welcome that 100%. And we would love that. You could also form a walk team and help fundraise for um, Parkinson Association of the Carolinas with your team members. And we can get into that more here in how to register for the walk. And I will show everyone how to make a team so that people can go underneath your name and continue to raise funds. You can make a donation towards the event. You can spread the word about the event. So we have Facebook posts. We have Instagram posts. I will be posting every week from here until both walks, something about the walk that you can put on your own page, share to your stories, screenshot and send it to people um, via text or email to people that you think would be interested in it. We would love to just get the word out there and continue to get support and get people excited because this is a fun event and I really look forward to it. And I hope you guys do too. So how to register for a walk. This is just a step-by-step -step, um, registration steps. And we're gonna go through this as soon as I get out of our presentation. I will go to our um, website for the Wilmington Move It Walk, and it is set up the exact same for Charlotte as well. I have the same exact um, steps that you will be taking for both walks. I just already have a team made for Parkinson Association of the Carolinas for Charlotte. And so we will be making one together for Wilmington. So you're gonna visit the campaign um, event page for us, Wilmington or Charlotte. It'll have both different links and you select the appropriate registration type. If you would just like to be an individual walker and you do not want to be a team captain, that is completely okay. And you can just register as an individual. As you can see over here, this is what it will look like. Um, you provide the requested registration of information. You choose the amount that you would like to donate, but you can skip this step because we, like we said earlier, I would love to just have people even come to this event, but if you would love to donate, we would love to have that support as well. You can provide the requested checkout information, which I will also explain once I go through our tutorial, and then you select the purchase button. Now, don't let that scare you. You are not purchasing anything. You are just securing a spot or registering for this event so that we can get the correct um, head count for things like um, t-shirts and other things for vendors so that they know how many people are coming. That way we have plenty of materials. And then make sure you check your email for a registration confirmation. If you do not receive that in 24 hours, please email me and I will have my information up for you. Please email me at smckinney at parkinsonassociation.org and I'll be glad to make sure that we can figure out what went wrong with your registration or if you did register, but the email maybe was misspelled and I have your information. We just wanna make sure you are set. So I'm gonna go through a quick tutorial here. All uh, right, can everyone see my Move It Walk Wilmington screen? Yes. Wonderful. So this is what it looks like, yay, event campaign page. Um, it's gonna have the Move It Walk Wilmington and obviously if you're doing Charlotte, you're going to be doing the Move It Walk Charlotte location and it has all your information there. You have two buttons to register and to donate now. And today we're going to do the joys of registering. So there are a few ways that you can do this. If you would like to be a team captain, we're gonna come over here to create a team. If you already have a team captain and you just want to register under their team, you can join a team here. And if you have no team members and you just wanted to show up to have fun with me, you can just register as an individual. Real quick, we're going to do a create a team. And my team name is Pack Attack because why not? And it has a great ring to it. Now, this is the part where it is up to you. We have it set automatically as a goal of $1,000 for each team. Of course, if you have a goal of 3,000, 5,000, whatever your heart desires, you can change your team goal. 
um, that is up to you. And if you would like to have a fun team page headline, you can of course change it from what we already have as our basic team headline. Now I'm going to create our team. I'm going to just do a quick fill in of Parkinson Associations of the Carolinas, um, our lovely information so that you guys can see and it'd probably be helpful if I made North Carolina correct. And this is our address in case you guys ever would like to know it. And our email address is actually going to be our one and only um, Anne-Marie Warman. She is our lovely executive director. And you do not required to answer this, but no, this is not our first time because we're the owners. So we're gonna register. Now, once you create a team, you're going to have the option to automatically register as an individual walker. Now, for those of you who did not wanna be a team captain and you did not want to be um, joining a team and you clicked on individual walker, this is the exact same screen that you're gonna to get to. The only difference is it's not going to have pack attack over here or whatever team that you've created. Now, if you have 17 people coming, you can register 17 people all at once. That is completely fine. I uh, love that, love seeing 17 people immediately um, register, which would be exciting. But for me, it's just me. So this is what it's going to say. Now, I know it can get a little confusing when it says your order. Again, this is a free event. It's just keeping up with, um, it's Classy, which is our lovely program that we use. It's Classy's way of keeping up with everything in an organized way for you to see that you are creating a team and you are registering as a walker. I'm going to click submit now. And now the fun questions are going to happen. So you're going to obviously fill in the information and I'm going to actually going to make this as quick as possible. Hopefully my fingers don't fail me today. And then we should scroll down and it is not required that you share your cell phone with this email is only required so that you guys can get your confirmation email and that way you know you are set and ready to go. This year we have a new question at the very bottom. If you register before March 17th, we are asking that you give us your t-shirt size. The reason is, is so that we can guarantee anyone that is in early registration, which is before March 17th, we are requiring this just so you can secure your t-shirt size. After that, we have to submit our t-shirt um, size and our order. And so for that to happen, we just wanna make sure everyone can get a chance to get their t-shirt. Sometimes we don't order enough, so it is going to be a first come, first serve on that. So we hope that you understand. Once that happens, you're going to get to an add a donation screen. Again, this is not required. You can click any of these one-time amounts, other or skip donation, which we are going to do now. And this is where people get confused. I know it says checkout, but again, this is a free event. We're just making sure that at the end of this, we have your information that is secure for just us. It will not be shared anywhere else. It's just for our database to see who came back, who's new and get excited for this. And if you did make a donation, we do like to send thank you letters so that you um, have the opportunity to have that for your records as well. And you will put in your address and you'll click reserve. And once you do that, you are set. That is it. That's you registering for a team. That's you registering for a walker. And now people can use your name to look up your team when you're ready to go. And how do you do that? Dun, 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 dun. When you hit register, Oops, I'm so sorry. It's now going to make me do it all again. My apologies. Normally, when you hit register and you have that third option of join a team, it will have a drop down box of everyone that is a team captain already and a team that has been made. All right, I have two more slides and then I will be glad to answer any questions. And again, if anyone has questions watching this video back, you can email me at smckinney at parkinsonassociation.org. So our fundraising resources, how can you make a difference? You can visit our campaign page and donate now. You can also um, select a, um, a mail-in donation if you would like to send a check to us. And our donations can be mailed at 2101 Sardis Road, North Suite 102. Now I know this is the part everyone gets excited for, prize time. What can you do? What prizes can you get? Now we have an individual highest fundraiser. 
this person is going to be the team captain that raises the most money. So if you are going to be the team captain and you really are thinking, I can raise three, $5,000 and you raise the most out of all team captains, you will receive a prize. What that prize is yet, it's a surprise. <laughs> it's a surprise prize. Then the team with the most walkers that have signed up as individual walkers for their team will also win a prize. And the team with the most spirit. So this is the one that I get the most excited for. As you can see in this picture here, you can do a few things. You can have matching t-shirts. You can have pom-poms. Last year, I had a gentleman who wore a tutu on his head and it was fantastic. Do whatever you want to really raise the spirit of Parkinson Association of the Carolinas move at walk this year. Um, you can come in just screaming and running around. I would love that. That's what I want to see at this kind of walk is just a bunch of spirit. And the one that has the most out of all teams gets a prize as well. So that is going to be my tutorial for today.